This is a truck. Not just any truck, but my truck. A 1990 GMC S15. It was a gift from my grandfather. I always loved riding in it as a kid because it only had two seats, so that meant I got to sit shotgun because there was no other choice. He told me that if it still ran when I was old enough to drive it, I could have it. And lo and behold, when I got my learner's permit, it still ran. Even though just barely. I spent my summer mowing lawns and trimming hedges to get enough money to get it painted, and then it was mine. And it was perfect. The specific S15 is equipped with the infamous General Motors 2.5 liter fuel injected Iron Duke engine also known as the Tech 4 or the 4 Tech, because that's what the sticker says. It made 94 horsepower and 130 foot-pounds torque leaving the factory, and probably has much less than that now. It gets from 0 to 60 eventually, but it'll get up to highway speeds if you give it long enough. The anemic little engine is paired with a 5-speed manual that delivers power to the rear wheels, but more on that later. It has no power steering, roll-down windows, no heater since it broke and fixing it is more trouble than it's worth, it's slow, it's loud, it's probably a death trap, but I love it. A big part of what made me fall in love with this machine, despite its many flaws, is that gearbox. Knowing that I would inherit this truck someday, I had to both learn how to drive and learn how to drive and operate a manual, all at the same time. I spent many frustrating nights in my mom's car, barely being able to get it moving around a parking lot, but it was a labor of love and one that proved to be well worth it. I feel like I'm at one with this machine when I'm driving it. I'm in total control of getting it around town. Lack of power steering makes it annoying in parking lots, but makes me feel so connected to the road under the wheels at speed, it's very well worth it. The truck doesn't do anything on its own. Whatever it's doing, I'm making it do it. Many things have broken on it in the seven years that I've owned it, and the repair manual my granddad bought for me when he gave me the truck is certainly worse for wear. But for me, it's all worth it, knowing that I'm keeping this thing alive. This adds to my real reason for loving this vehicle. It's a product of its time. Even though it doesn't seem that old, it shares the same design with models dating back to 83. It's a product of the 80s and 90s, and it shows. From the boxy exterior to the bulb lit instrument panel with the speedometer that only goes to 85, it's often the oldest vehicle on the road around me, and I love seeing it juxtaposed with all the crazy big futuristic cars coming out today. Driving down the freeway with the windows down, listening to In Bloom, evokes nostalgia for a time I never experienced myself, but is deeply rooted in the time in which I grew up, and even stretches on to 2017, with all the only 90s kids remember, and the 80s ethos of Stranger Things, the movie It, and the likes. This truck has gotten me everywhere I've needed to go over the past seven years, and I've loved every second of the journey. It's carried my drum set to all my gigs, all my belongings every time I've moved, and all of me and my friends' couches throughout the years. It's well worn in and showing its age more and more every day, but it only has 130,000 miles on it, 50,000 of which being driven by me, and I'm going to do my very best to ensure that it has many more to come.